Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we'll look at the delay effect in Adobe Audition. If you're enjoying these videos, do hit like, remember to subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another video from me. Uh, now I've got this wonderful voice here of Nathan from Music Radio Creative. Tip of the week. And uh, previously I've covered analog delay, uh, which is pretty retro and quite cool. Uh, delay is kind of similar, but you've got a left and right delay that you can set up. 120 milliseconds, 180 milliseconds. Tip of the week. And it gives us a nice stereo effect. Tip of the week. And we can obviously reduce this. So if I wanted to do, say, 20 and 50 milliseconds, Tip of the week. we get a much better Tip of the week. stereo kind of almost chorus effect using this delay. You can also invert the waveform. Tip of the week. And that kind of gives a, Tip of the week. an extra flavor to it. And of course, increase or decrease the mix. Put it right up and you get Tip of the week. Tip of the week. A very prominent delay. Pull it down in the mix. Tip of the week. And it's mixed in with the original voice as well. And it doesn't just work with milliseconds. You can also work with beats and samples. Beats are quite handy if you're working, for instance, with a music track and you've set the tempo in Audition in the preferences. Uh, so I could say, well, every beat I want tip of the week to repeat. And every second beat I also want it to repeat on the right channel. And then you get tip of the week. Tip of the week. So you get the tip of the week, tip of the week, and it will go right on the beat. And if you want to change the tempo in Audition, you do that in Preferences, Control or Command, Comma, and you just go over and look through these little areas here until you eventually get back to Time Display, where you can change the tempo up to 138 or down to 120. That's the default. Click OK and away you go and those beats will conform to whatever BPM your track is. So really handy stuff. If you want to go ahead and use my presets, they have delays inside them. They're brilliant for producing jingles, podcasts and more. Check them out at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Music Re-